New York Comic Con is almost here, and this year DC takes a bite out of the Big Apple. Here's your guide to the most anticipated DC movies and series at NYCC 2019. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix gives Gotham's grinning villain a new face in Joker. Todd Phillips' origin story of Batman's arch enemy is getting early Oscar buzz after the film scored big at this year's Venice International Film Festival, taking home the Golden Lion for best film. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Joker hits theaters on October 4th, which happens to be the same week as New York Comic Con. Send in the clouds. Harley Quinn is finally getting her own movie. Hi, boys. Birds of Prey and the fabulous emancipation of one, Harley Quinn, catches up with the psych turned psycho as she ditches Joker to join forces with the Birds of Prey. I'm known to be quite vexing, I'm just forewarning you. Margot Robbie is reprising her Suicide Squad role, and her female super team introduces Journey Smollett Bell as Black Canary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress. Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya, and Ella J. Basco as Cassandra Kane. They'll be facing off against the villain Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. You know, reap what you sow. Birds of Prey flies into theaters on February 7, 2020, with Dead Pig's Kathy Yan directing the movie. Come on, let's go. And that's not the only DC film hitting theaters next year. Wonder Woman 1984 is set to release on June 5th, 2020. In her first solo film, Princess Diana left her Themyscira home to end World War I. Now she's going totally 80s to take on Cheetah, played by Kristen Wiig. Chris Pine returns as Steve Trevor, somehow, but we can't say much more than that. Can I ask you some questions? Patty Jenkins returns to direct the sequel after the original raked in more than $821 million worldwide. The lasso of Hastia compels you to reveal the truth. Jenkins has said promotion for the film will begin in December, but in the meantime, be sure to stop by the Wonder Woman 1984 booth at the convention. It's magical. <laughs> If the small screen's more your thing, then brace yourself because DC TV is bringing the bat. Woman, that is. On Sunday, October 6th, you can watch the Batwoman pilot before it premieres on The CW that evening. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. The buzzy new series stars Ruby Rose as the DC comic superhero, who finds herself following in her cousin Bruce Wayne's footsteps as Gotham's protector. Batman gave up on us. Rachel Scarston, who previously played Black Canary in the short-lived 2002 Birds of Prey series, has been cast as the main villain, Alice. Shall we believe the crows will protect us? <laughs> The screening will be followed by a Q&A featuring some of the show's stars and producers, so have your questions ready. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Before Batman, there was Pennyworth, and now he has his own series on epics. I want to be my own man. The Batman prequel follows the early life of the trusted Wayne family butler, Alfred Pennyworth, played by Jack Bannon. The former British SAS soldier forms his own security company in 1960s London, and his first client is young Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's billionaire father, who is played by Ben Aldridge. I'll do my best to keep you alive. The show was created by Gotham's Bruno Heller, who had no problem dipping his toes into R-rated territory as swearing, violence, gore, sex are all prevalent in the world of Pennyworth. The series finale aired on September 29th, but fans attending the con will get another chance to celebrate at the Pennyworth booth. It's gonna be a nice day. It's rather forward of you. For all things New York Comic Con, check out our coverage on imdb.com slash NYCC.